You have written me many comments, thank you for that at this point. Even though I don't always answer them all right away, I read them and think it's cool when you post your feedback on my videos in the comments. One of you suggested that I make a video answering your questions. I thought that was an interesting idea, so we'll try it out in this video. Since diapers are a sensitive and controversial topic, I decided to make the data of the comment writer unrecognizable for everyone to protect you. Let's get started. The first comment is a question about the third edition of Diaper News, in which I introduced you to the Comfy Cubs from Lil Comforts. A viewer asked, can you do a test with them? I would love to do one. Unfortunately the problem right now is this. In order to do so, I would have to purchase the diaper from the manufacturer's store. The price is already pretty high. Even more expensive than the Little Kings, which is the most expensive ABDL diaper, at least for me. Since the store is abroad for me, it does not remain so, but there are still correspondingly high shipping costs as well as import duties. This is much too expensive for me and therefore no practical test is currently planned for this diaper. However, should a dealer in the future of the EU import this diaper and offer it a reasonable price, as it happened with other diapers after a while, for example Land of Genie, then I make a video about it. I can't say when that will be. I currently have no information that any store is planning to import the Comfy Cubs. Judging by the experience with other diapers, it will probably take at least a few more months since it was released only recently. If you're interested, feel free to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a new video. Both to the Comfy Cubs if it comes to Europe. But even until that might happen, there are some other interesting diapers that I will definitely still test, so stay tuned. The second community comment asks what is the maximum ABDL diapers can withstand? I am creating a list for this because I want to make a video with the diapers that can withstand the most. Not all of them are on it yet. The highest result so far is a total weight of 2.2 kilograms, which equals 4.85 pounds. If you subtract the empty weight, we're at about 2 kilos or liters, which equals 0.53 gallons. I can't recall a higher result so far. And it always depends on the diaper. Not all ABDL diapers are optimized for maximum absorbency. Some run out even before that, because they are thinner, for example. Third question. Hello, is that a new Pampers pattern? How do you get it? Hi. Yes, you're right about that. I compared the Pampers children's diaper to all the ABDL diapers I kept in my diaper archive after testing. For each ABDL diaper, I make a short wherein I briefly discuss the diaper. I don't really understand what you mean by, how do you get it? The Pampers is, at least in this country, not a special diaper. You can get them in any drugstore and also many supermarkets, just like the Dry Nights, Good Nights. Only with the ABDL diapers it looks unfortunately different, which is sold in almost no store. Therefore, I order them on the web. Depending on where you live, it may look different for you. If there is nothing reasonable locally, I would also recommend you to look on the internet. Surely there is a store in your country that delivers there. Comment 4. Why don't you do it with your voice? For security and privacy reasons. For one, I don't want anyone to recognize voice when my videos are suggested to others by opaque AI algorithms. Also, regardless of that, big tech companies like Google, but also Facebook, Microsoft and many others have proven often enough that they collect all the data they can get and can't be trusted. Therefore, I don't want to give them biometric about my voice or even my appearance still voluntarily. Especially not on such a sensitive topic. The next one doesn't ask a question, but suggests an improvement for the voice. This is cool but please consider a voice actor instead of the AI voice. I'm glad you like my videos. The problem with a voice actor is, it costs much more money per video than the computer voice, which is also more flexible. And especially with such topics as diapers, it's hard to find someone to provide their voice for it. Outside of diaper wearers, many are still less than enthusiastic about people wearing diapers today. If the channel ever gets big enough in the future that I have the money for it, I'd love to. I like human voices best too. Until then, I think it's a good, realistic solution. I've been using a paid computer voice for a while now, and it sounds a lot more human than the very first one. The last comment is about a well-known ABDL diaper, will you test the Little King in the future? I strongly assume that he means the Little Kings with S from Abu. I haven't tried the diaper yet because the prices are extremely expensive. 
The Little Kings alone currently costs 39.95 euros for a pack of 10, which is a whopping 3.95 euros per diaper. It would be by far the most expensive diaper I have tested so far. Even the strongest ones like Critter Caboose, which already withstand a lot and have high quality printing, cost well under 3 euros each, currently 2.74 euros. The prices of the Little Kings are totally exaggerated in my opinion. At least here with me, possibly it is different in other countries. Anyway, it's too expensive for me and I don't want to support this trend of Abu to offer some diapers at high prices. The peak ABU have also become much more expensive some time ago. There is not even the Little King's argument that the diapers with cotton are yes a niche, which do not sell as well as with foil. Should the Little Kings be available at a reasonable price, I'll try them out and make a video about it. Until then, however, I will soon test the first alternatives, that is, diapers with textile-like surface, which are offered at an acceptable price. For a long time there were none, but here in 2023 a lot has happened, some of the new diapers I have already presented to you in the diaper news. So cotton fans can still stay excited. Everyone else, too, of course. This channel won't suddenly become Cotton Diaper TV, don't worry. After interesting cotton diapers hit the market in 2023, some at affordable prices, I'm curious as a foil fan how these diapers have evolved these days. So there will be some cotton testing. Most of the ABDL diapers are still with film and of course I will continue to try the new ones. Do you like the new Q&A format? Feel free to give the video a thumbs up, or if not, a thumbs down. Especially if you give it a thumbs down, please write a comment why you didn't like it at all. In any case, your feedback is welcome. Stay dry until the next video.